Hey everybody, hello again. Monday, February 19 here in Dingaland. And we have a pretty nice day, nice sunny day. They did a lot of laundry already. And I got the lawn cut early this morning. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to rain or maybe get too hot. So I, I always do it early. So it's uh, all done for another week or two, depending on rain. Uh... So let's take a look. Also, Catherine didn't have school today for some reason. Monday, I don't know, some kind of holiday. She, Grace told me, uh, Mommy told me, but I don't remember what she said. Some kind of holiday. Whatever, another day off. So obviously uh, the kids are going crazy. She did take them in town. She got her car washed. She picked up some rice. Did a few other things. Kids played up there. Uh, there's a little playground up there they played in. Probably while her car was being washed. And she bought a couple other other things. But uh, here they are. Going crazy again. I don't want you playing inside there. You can play in this part, but not, not the bedroom part. Look, Daddy. Stay out of there. Look, Daddy. Daddy. What? I know. Yeah, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> if you hurt yourself, don't, don't start crying. Yeah. Be nice. They love to climb. They love to climb. Climbing on everything. I got a little bit of a breeze here. A little bit, not bad, at least it's something. And uh, just a nice pleasant day. Quiet, because it's Monday. Nobody around. But if it's a holiday, I'm surprised there's nobody around. I don't know. There is some people on the beach. So maybe there is a few people around, but it's, it's quiet. But the grass looks good. Uh, also, I posted all these signs. I bought six of these in, from Lozada. They're about a, $2 a piece, actually. 100 pesos each. And I put them on a lot of trees here. Because Easter's coming. And people, they just walk up here. They just walk up here uninvited. They think it's open to the public. So I got a lot of them. I got one here. I got one down there. Near Edwin's on that first tree. And then I got here. Here. Goofball, be careful. Don't get hurt. And here six of them all together so people should get the message and not come up here uninvited that's the deal and then of course we have two on the gate up front the yellow gate up front the new one and we usually keep one side open one side closed so uh, Lazada can come in, tricycles can come in, but not cars. Uh, supposedly on March the 1st, uh, we're going to have some visitors. Because our friend uh, Steve is going back to the U.S. Uh, first week of March. 
going to go see his family, his mother. Uh, so they're all going to come here on the first. I'm not sure how many people, but uh, we're all going to hang out, have a good time, and like kind of say goodbye to Steve for a little bit. Have a cookout. They can all enjoy the beach here. So uh, stay tuned for that, March the 1st. Uh, and then uh, I guess Easter is March 31st this year. It's Easter Sunday. Uh, so that's one reason I hung these signs. Because Easter is crazy around here, as, as most people well know. It's, it's a big holiday. It's a big uh, beach day. So uh, there'll be all kinds of people around and uh you know we we had problems before with many people just coming up here using the playground using the benches using the hammocks just like it's open to the public so hopefully it'll see the signs this year and they won't do that but you know i don't mind if they sit at the cement table or something like that it's no big deal but when they come up here and start jumping on the playground and these uh, picnic benches and the hammocks, possibly going in the Kubo. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. They just, they just think, uh, you know, since they're in a resort somewhere, that everywhere else is open to them. Anyway, I don't blame them. They see this nice place here with nice green grass, clean. They want to check it out. I don't blame them. Because we keep it nice here. And we don't have a fence in front to keep people out. So, oh well, that's the way it is. Easter, it's coming. Hopefully we won't have any drownings this year. Hopefully the weather will be nice. The ocean will be uh, calm. Because it seems to be every year. Every year something happens. So, I don't know, we're hoping, hoping nothing major happens here. No disasters. No deaths. Cycle. I hear somebody coming. I hear Patch barking. Oh, who? somebody's here. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, the water guy. They're delivering water. So I'm going to have to pay this guy here. He came quick. Because when my mommy went into town, she brought the empty jugs. So we saved him a trip that way. You only have to go one way instead of two ways. So this is how they deliver the water. There's Patch. Wow, that's quick. How many? Eight? Nine. Nine. Twenty pesos each. That's very cheap. Uh, I guess in Cabana to one, they're uh, they're forty pesos each, so double. So hang on, I gotta get some money. Stand by. Okay, we got the money. He came very quick. Same day. So we have twelve. We usually keep twelve on hand. We go through a lot of water here. Uh, here. It's okay for you. <laughs> Tip 20 pesos.
<laughs> I gave him 20 peso extra. As the water's so cheap and it's free delivery. I don't even know how they make money really. It's the cheapest water you can find around. Most places are always 35 to 40 pesos. Car's nice and clean. Took it to the car wash, put air in the tires. Everything's good. Ah, so yeah, as you can see, lots of laundry. I'll probably do mine tomorrow or the next day. I can wait a little bit. Hey, behave! Behave, guys. Behave. Play nice. Oh, he's crying about something. It's always something around here, folks. They play together, and then all of a sudden, uh, the little one's crying. What's wrong? Why is it crying? Anyway, folks, that's about it for now. I really have nothing else to tell you. I already ate lunch. They're eating something now. And then it's just a matter of uh, keeping these kids in control all day. Uh, just going to be a, uh, a mellow day. We're not going nowhere else. They're not going nowhere else. So uh, she goes back to school tomorrow. And then uh, that's it. We'll see what happens next. If anything important happens between now and then, I'll let you know. But, uh, you know, we'll look forward to our visitors on March the 1st, if they're still going to come. And uh, until then, I'm still waiting on uh, my truck part, my torque converter. They said it is on its way, whatever that means. That's going to cost me more money. Probably another couple thousand dollars. And, uh, who knows? Who knows? I already paid a thousand dollars for doing nothing at Ford. Anyway, not much I can do about it. It is what it is. Hopefully when I sell it, I get back a few bucks. And, uh, get it out of my hair. So... Just waiting to hear the word there from our friends at Auto, Auto Mechanico, and um, oh, nothing else to tell you really. So I appreciate you guys watching. I did pick up a few new subscribers on our little trip, my birthday weekend. I did get a few extras, so I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I like to read your comments. I always answer all the comments. So keep them coming. All right. Like and subscribe is free. That's going to do it right now. God bless everyone. Santa Claus. Over and out.